Angels said by the gods of justice, but for Clay Morrow, it turned out to be devils because it didn't actually work out in his favour. Welcome back to Fog Entertainment. It's Sons of Anarchy, Season 6, Episode 11, on route per centre. And the bodies are hitting the floor, left, right and centre, and it's no jobbers anymore. It's the main offenders. Yeah, we've got some big name characters biting the dust in this episode. Where's the Irish? In Ireland. Ah, they're in Ireland, but Jackie Boy has a bullet with your name on it. Where's the bullet? In your neck. In your jugular. Yeah, Clay, I think when Clay realised that there was not any, like, no-name Irish people showing up, that somebody big was going to die, and it was him. It was him all along. You know, this is a great episode, busting out Clay. I I really enjoy this one. Sam Crow, probably, is this the riskiest thing they've done? Probably, I mean... On the show. I, I'd say so, breaking out a federal... Aye. Suspect or whatever, a prisoner, I mean, yeah. Would they have been sweeter if they were breaking out, like, a... A member they wanted to protect and aye, save? rather than, here, we're breaking Auto you. Auto or something? Or? Aye, like, we're breaking you just to kill you. Would that have made it the, 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 the wee bit more perfect? Possibly, but we'll never know. We'll never know, guys, but here... we Here, can... where was the attempt to ever break it all? Guess he never got transferred. True. But anyway, um, you know, we've got other stuff this episode like Unser, Gemma, Tara, Nero. I like Nero, but I feel like ever since he's got to jail, he's kind of just hanging around like a like a lap dog to Gemma. Just Gem. there to kiss Gemma's ass, really. Aye. I prefer Nero in season seven. I'll say that, right? But uh, the sons are riding together. He's got blood on his hands and get what he's terrified. Uh, you've got Montez and West at the back. No surprise there. Jax tells those two to uh, keep them occupied because, of course, what's happening with that big man, they are uh, going to keep the sheriffs and Patterson and Roosevelt distracted downtown because West and Montez aren't allowed on this uh, journey. Yeah, that's an important journey here and, and West and Montez just didn't quite make the cut. I don't know how they got cuts, but uh, they're certainly not making this cut. So they, have to, they stay behind in order to create a distraction and... They've committed a lot of the, the police forces to this side of the, the town. And, I mean, it is Jack's, I guess, been one step ahead. But, I mean, really, Eli, he identified them. He goes, ah, I can see two members. Shouldn't something have went off in Eli's head? Went, hold on here. That's Weston Montes. Where's the, action? Where's the real members? Yeah. <laughs> because if something big's going yeah, they're down... they're two fucking prospects. What are they still doing? That? You know, like, you, you're looking for Tig. You're looking for Chibs. It's like... See when you can only see Frank and Mont. Frank. The mark- <laughs> What's his name? West, you mean? Frank West. <laughs> see when you can only see those two. Should the alarm bells not have been going off inside uh, Eli's head? No, I agree totally, but don't understand what was going on there. Um, to say the least from Eli. It's Sam Crow. Sam Crow's in the building. It's not really Sam Crow though. Uh, Connor points out that he's done this before Chibs kind of buries him he's like uh, what was it McGilligan and Omar Connor bit of a difference here big man it's not quite the six counties it's uh, it's Northern California as Oman Chung would say Hawk oh, Northern, no, no, Northern California absolutely but uh, we need all the guns and fad wires I, I tell you what Connor for being a jobber I think this scene pretty much established him he whipped out the fucking high sport and was like, this is what we're doing. Point A, Fremont. <laughs> I know this is controversial, but I actually prefer boiled rice over fried rice. Fair enough. Anyway, yeah, I, I like... Connor felt like a big deal here. You know, he's got... He's, he's we in a Fremont. We up a Fremont here. There's points here and here. We're going to take the side road. We've got four wagons. We hit them head on. Different, diff- different colour, different object. <laughs> different company. <laughs> different people in them. <laughs> <laughs> this one this one was for Weston Montes but you've sent them home Jackie boy so see this brown to... one see this one over here the colour is shite that was the one that we made for Montes and West but they're going to have to they're going to have to take the invisible vehicle because they're going to have to be here but uh, yeah um, Clay's getting two cars up. two following cars one in front one behind but it turns out there's only one car because Clay Morrow is not a top secret fucking <laughs> Prisoner, brother. I think there, well, there was two. No, there was only one. Was there? Uh, How are you going? They were expecting two, but there was only one. Well, that's good, then. Usually, usually it'd be the other way about. Expecting they, one and you get two. Aye. 
But um, two, for, two for one special. Absolutely. So everyone's teaming up here. You've got Chibs and Quinn in one. You've got Bobby and Teg in one. You've got the big man in one, such as uh, what's his name? The big man, the big dog. Um, Connor. No, Connor and Hugh are in the room. One. Jack's Where all in. you got? I'm all he needs, brother. I'm all he needs, brother. Luck of the Irish, oh yeah. 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 Brilliant. But um, Clay's getting loaded in. Blood on his hands. Clay looks like a smug man. He thinks he's getting free. Down, 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 down. He's got blood on his hands and guess what? I'm doing fine. But I think that's how you build up a prison break. You're getting the cult pythons out. Um, tell you what, I think Jack's looked better with a cult python here than Rick ever fucking did. Definitely. Actually, he's like, Rick, Rick, what did Rick actually ever use his cult python for? Like, significance? Put down Sophia? Well, that's probably, yeah, that's probably his, mo- his rise to his rise to fame here. Like, But what's better, killing a job or 10-year-old or breaking clay out by smashing the bulletproof glass? I'm going to go with clay. Yeah, I'm going to go with breaking clay out. But anyway, um, before we get to it, they're all parked up. Connor's like, that's it, let's go, let's go, let's go! Everybody go, let's get clay... And then Tig's like, I suddenly, I, pink? I suddenly feel the need for speed. Tig wasn't too happy he got the pink car. He wasn't. I mean, I, I don't get it. The guy's banging a tranny, but he, he'll draw the line at having a, a pink fan. Yeah, it doesn't really make much sense, doesn't it not? Absolutely not. But uh, I suddenly feel the need for speed. I mean, Wait, did you not think it was a little bit awkward though, or a bit weird or strange that literally all, all, the, all the fans were the same, just different colours? I mean, like, they were literally the four same fans. No, they were. Identical. Just different colours. See, to me, that would have looked a bit suspicious, but Connor's like, uh, they'll be expecting deliveries. So they won't catch on. Cock. Be business as usual. But Loads I, of trucks coming and going, brother. But do you not think having four the exact same was a bit weird? It, it did look a wee bit dodgy. You've got to admit see, that. You were, see, would you not have went, hold on, there, why is there, like, four different colours of... Fans coming up Pink, here. brown, blue and shite. <laughs> Approaching fast. Yeah, why is that happening? But uh, they smash into the first one. The two guys are pretty much t- demolished. Karen Steve Wazer. Uh, Jack's like, no, no, let him out. No one gets hurt. Clay's whipping it. Angels sent by the gods of justice. Uh, gods of justice. Ron Perlman that fucking shafted Trump at an election. Was that it? Aye. Princess Mary and Father Joseph. Don't you move! And then, you know, they get the keys, Jack, uh, this is reinforced steel, dickhead! And then Jack just smashes it with the python, gets the keys, gets to the back, Clay's looking all smug. Well, he didn't, he shot it out, he didn't smash it with the python, like, you know. <laughs> what you gonna do, brother, when the 24 inch python? The, the back door opens, Clay looks on, Jack pulls in the mask, Clay's like, what the hell? Where's the Irish? In Ireland. And Clay knows he's snookered at this point. You think he realised at this point he was I think done? he did. Well, I think I think he was like, hmm, I could be snookered. Well, I'm going to disagree because he seemed a little bit shocked later on when it all went down. He did. No, he did. Would Clay rather Sam Crow doing the breakout or would he have rather? No, I think obviously he's close with Galen. I think he would have rather Galen open the back door and then Clay could just jump into his arms and give him a big hug. But that didn't happen. Yeah, I know. Hold on, Galen's got a lot... I got a lot of respect for Clay. He's only American at trust. Like, should Galen not have then got personally involved in this break it? I think... I don't really understand why Galen couldn't have been a part of this. No, but considering how important this was and how important Clay was, should Galen not have been overseeing this himself or did he trust Hugh and did he trust Connor? I think he trusted Connor and Hugh, but... Uh... All right, well, if that's the case, do you not think... Do you not think Galen should have says when they break out Clay, you and Connor take Clay? Probably. But Bobby got shot, didn't he? But, I mean, Jack's kind of took the... I mean, he's the main character after all, but he's the one that, you know, smashed the doors in and then fucking opened the doors at the same time. I know, but Connor... If Galen was there, would he be playing second fiddle to Jack's or would he not be doing that? But my point is, should Galen not hands be... Hands off get, those bloody guns. Hands off that Clay. I need him alive. Should, should, um, should Connor and... Your other wee man. You? You. Should they not take clay? Protected Ma- clay. Maybe, who knows, but one of the guys starts firing, hits Bobby twice, just runs him over, kills him. Not what Jack's wanted, but it's what happened. 
Not what he wanted, but it's what happened, brother. Overall, though, I, I would say it's probably one of the better scenes of the show. I definitely great wee break it. Loved it. I tell you what, I mean, uh, this this is. I mean, I, I'm thinking of breakout scenes that I've seen in TV shows. I think it's probably near one of the better ones. Yeah, definitely. It's hard to recall how many breakouts, though, because they don't really happen no, often. They, no, they don't happen all that often, but uh, at this point, Tara goes to pick up Abel and Thomas, but then the phone call comes through about Bobby, and she's like, what? You want me to... I think Tara's justified here. Gemma's like, look, I'll forget about everything you've done for the meantime. We've got to say, but... Why should that be Tara's concern? I guess she e- does e- kind of e- care every- about Bobby now. Yeah, but everything that's going on, you know, it's like, find your own doctor. I'm supposed to play Mob Doctor again? Aye, you are supposed to do that. Clay gets to the hangar with everyone else. Bobby's hanging in there till Tara gets there. Uh, he hugs Juice. One bit, one more a bit of Puerto Rican magic. <laughs> See, I think this is more Clay saying thank you, Juice, for helping me escape. I don't think there was... Oh, thank you, Juice, for putting the final photo in my coffin here. Yep, uh, they go into the office. Galen's like, ah, Clay, brother, they hug. Jackson, bang, good night, Galen's dead. Galen's dead, bang. What the hell? And the other two Irish guys get dropped. Is this not poor, though, that Galen's been hiding out in this wee office the entire time? Instead of being getting in the meats and potatoes with his wee Irish stew. I, I think Galen should have been there. He should have been there. Um, Clay, at this point, is done. I mean, Jax even tells him to close the door behind him, and, and he fucking goes ahead and does it. Do you not think this was, like, a bit of a lackluster way for Galen to go out, though? It was, but it happened out of nowhere. It's like, you feel like Jimmy O got a better send-off because it was like leading, you kind of seen it coming. You knew his time was up. Yeah, but should Galen should Galen get a bigger send-off than Clay? I mean, I guess this is to give Clay the, the, the send-off, the rub of the green. No, true. <laughs> Look at the Irish fella, green. But nah, I get what you're saying. I just think it would have been a little bit better had we maybe got one like proper final Galen scene. And I don't think we got it here. We kind of just got Galen giving Clay a hug, and then bang. Deed. Brain's blown it. Uh, and that's it. I mean, that's Galen's done for. Connor and Hugh, fuck knows where they are at this stage. I guess they were going getting the guns. Yeah, uh, Gemma and Clay have a final goodbye. You going to Ireland? I don't think so. I think there's another plan. And then Clay asks Jax, what happens now, Prez? Jax says, we settle with the Irish. And then he says, um, well, Clay's like, how do we do that with three dead bodies? And he's like, you know what? How about... How would you do it? Man? How would how would you do it? Uh, two guys, old history, couldn't be helped. Sounds about right. Yeah, we did. The fault was unanimous. Clay knows he's snookered. It would have been embarrassing, though, if Clay just tried to run at this stage, wouldn't it? Never going to work that way. They caught him in. Juice, Chibs, Teg and Jacks walk him in. See, to be honest, like I think Clay's been ready to accept death. See, ever since the end of season five, when Juice and, more importantly, Gemma betrayed him. Yeah, I think at that point he's no I just noticed I think, he, I think he would have done up until that point I think he would have pulled tricks and, and did stuff to try and save his life but see after that like I think he was kind of believing that oh, not much left no I just realised Happy wasn't even here because he's obviously kidnapped yeah he's sitting getting free meals sitting getting f- Galen and Happy could have had one a fucking truck together those two awkward bastards <laughs> nah feeding them fucking Irish stew and all that good stuff but anyway Clay's led in. He's like, is this good? Jax is like, yeah. Here, imagine instead of Jax opening the back door to rescue Clay, it was Montez and West. Clay would have been like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you guys? He, he wouldn't fucking know. He was a weird fucking Irish. <laughs> <laughs> fucking four foot Speedy Gonzalez. And a lucky charms. <laughs> Feed me your lucky charms, fella. <laughs> Feed me your lucky charms. Chibs clocks the gun. <laughs> Hands at the jacks. That's it. It's a bit depressing. It, well, I've never experienced it, but see standing there knowing you're going to die, it must be a bit shit. Yep. He looks out the window, he notices Gemma, Tara and Nero. I wouldn't say they're happy. I guess Tara would be more happy than Nero. Nero's kind of wondering what the fuck's going on here, to be honest. Nero just doesn't really, just doesn't really belong. Yeah, he Again, to- the guy could have been in the free farmhouse with Lucius, but now he's deciding to stick in with this line of work. Yep, but Jax shoots Clay in the neck, falls to his knees, he bleeds out, <laughs> but never empties the magazine. Yeah, into it him. wasn't really a clean kill. No, it was dirty, but yeah, Clay was a dirty man, so it wouldn't have made sense to kill him clean with him. Probably not. Probably not, but that's it. It's all over. Clay Morrow did. Was it too late? Was it too soon? Or was it just about right? Just about right, I'd say. Just about right. I don't think season seven really had a place for Clay, if I'm being honest. No. Um, could could, it, could he have lasted longer in season six? 
I mean, potentially, but the I feel finale, like penultimate. I feel like the sh- I feel like the show wanted just to focus on Tara and Jax and that sort of Which is deal. Enough. Yeah, and Clay at this stage, it's like they put the Irish behind them to move forward with Clay Connor. had a good run. So yeah, Jem is greeting. Clay Morrow should have been dead a long time ago. Tara basically fills Nero in on the timeline of the entire show here. I just didn't really understand how Gemma was saying, I hate him and everything that he done. And, you know, it's like, you've done a lot of shit as well. Yeah, why couldn't Gemma just like, you know what? It's fucking, I'm sad because, holy shit, didn't expect that sort of thing. But she just kind of like threw Clay under the bus. Yeah. As if she'd nothing to do with JT. As if she's not done any bad shit over the years. No, I know. It, was all, it, it felt like she was passing the buck, honestly. It felt like she was saying, oh, I've had to put up with that really bad clay person for decades and you know it's just it's, it, did, it was a bit cheap it was a bit cheap Connor then pulls up to I was going to say the arena uh, the warehouse and then he gets took into the room you murdered them all you played me a bastard didn't you he did what am I going to tell the kings you tell the kings that bet on t- black you tell the kings yeah bet on black that um, August Marks is your only supplier your only chance this is a shootout. Clay killed him. If you expect the kings to believe that. Hey, Jack's basically, t- this is the truth you need. Or else anything else, you look pathetic. How's it Connor's fault, though? Yeah, I know, I don't get How it. How convenient does it look, though, that, oh, this fell through, but Jack's like, ah, the team black, though. Well, I think Connor can clearly see what happened. Like, oh, I know, <laughs> but can the Irish kings not be like, well, what's Well, they're pretty idea? far away, like, I mean. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Connor, later in the episode, like, fires a bullet into, like, the roof of where he is. It was just a bit, it was a fucking bit of a pointless scene, wasn't it? All right. Just like when he was on the Titanic in 1997, he fucking ringing the bell. <clears throat> Iceberg! Straight ahead! Uh, Tara turns up at her office. Patterson offers her a deal. She's like, if I pull the board out of a club member, would that do it? Would that do it? Probably would. It probably would do it. Um, Moments later, Bobby's getting a bullet pulled at him. He is. And that's pretty much where the episode ends. Tara debating what she's going to do. Is she going... But she's already admitted that a club member's been shot. You know, and if, if they went snooping around Sam Crow, they would obviously find out that Bobby's in a sling and therefore has been shot recently. Tara's laid it on thick here. And that is where we're going to end the episode. Clay Morrow, RIP. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, great episode. Loved this one. I don't feel like it's quite a perfect 10. No. But, I mean, it was great. I feel like when Clay died, it was like... But I think the episode would have been too abrupt if it ended near enough for Clay. I, I, I feel like where Clay is, it doesn't make sense for his death to end an episode, if that makes sense. Because it, it did feel like they were just tying up loose ends. Like, Tara ratting on the club is much bigger than Clay's death. Yeah. It, 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 that's just the reality you're dealing with. Uh, you know what, though? Ah, fuck it, I will give it a 10. I'll give you a 9. 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. Can't complain with that, but in any way, till next time. Peace.